Good morning. I'm excited to be with you guys this morning. I usually get to see kids every single day in school. It's been a long time since we've had school, though. And kids give me energy, and I don't get to be around this big a group very often in the summertime. So I'm excited to be with you. My name is Mr. Onan. Some of you guys know me, right? Because I get to see a lot of you guys every day at school, which is pretty cool. But uh, I'm the principal over at St. John, so I get to walk around the child care a lot during the school year and say good morning. But I get to talk to you guys a little bit today about some very important things. So I need you to listen real carefully, but I'm also going to need your help. So I have a slide for you that I have pulled up. What's going on in this picture? Can anybody tell me what's going on? Hunter? They're mad at each other, right? What do you think the story is behind this picture? Why would, why would somebody, why do you think they're mad at each other? Why do you think they're mad? Ty? Okay. So they're, they're arguing. Maybe somebody did something to make the other one mad, right? I have another picture I'm going to need some help with. What's happening in this picture? They're happy, and they're hugging each other, right? So these are different girls in this picture and this picture, but we're going to pretend that they're the same girls. What would happen from them to going mad at each other to happy at each other? Something had to have changed if they were mad and somebody did something, and then all of a sudden they're friends again. What would have had to happen in between that time? Got to hand it back over here. What do you think happened in that time? Holy moly, she nailed it. Did you guys hear what she said? I didn't think you guys would get it right away. I'm going to have you say it in the microphone so they can hear. Say it again. They said sorry. Somebody probably said they're sorry. Those are some pretty powerful words, right? And then a lot of times when somebody says, I'm sorry. Do you know what the I'm sorry means first? We should probably talk about that. It means you're sorry and you give a hug, okay? I'm sorry means I messed up and I'm not going to do it again, right? So after somebody says I'm sorry, what do you usually say afterwards? It's okay. I'm really glad you said that because sometimes we say it's okay, but it's really not okay. If they hurt your feelings or they hurt you or they did something wrong, it's not okay. So we shouldn't tell them it's okay because that kind of says you can do it again. And we don't want them to do it again. There's another thing we could say that's even better than it's okay. Do you know, Ty? Two words that are even more powerful than I'm sorry. Do you know? Your hand is up. Do you, do you have any idea? Your or I forgive you. If somebody says, I forgive you, what does that mean? What does I forgive you mean? Or you're forgiven? Anybody know? Nobody knows what it means to forgive you? Ty, you've got your hand up. Why don't you come up here and help me out real quick? Come on up. Come on up. So I forgive you means I'm not going to be mad at you anymore. I'm not going to be angry about it anymore. And you don't have to feel bad about it anymore. A lot of times there's consequences. Let's go on up here. A lot of times there are consequences. So let's say, let's say... Uh, Let's say I step on Ty's foot, and he goes, right? And I, I tell Ty, I'm sorry, and Ty says, you're forgiven. I'm forgiven. Well, thank you, Ty. Now, what that means is I feel better because I know I don't have to feel bad about it anymore. And Ty feels better because he was angry that I stepped on his toe, and now he doesn't have to be angry anymore. He's saying, I'm going to forget about this. Now, I might have consequences. I have to go with the teacher. Maybe I have time out, something like that. But between us, we're good. So I see Ty later in the day. Hi, Ty, how are you? And I stomp on his foot again. That's twice. I said, Ty, I'm sorry. And Ty says, you're forgiven. Really? Twice? He's forgiven me twice now. Now, he didn't say it's okay because it's not okay. I'm probably going to be in trouble. He's going to tell the teacher, but between he and I, we're good. So I see Ty again later, Ty, and guess what? <laughs> I 
Tides three times. Do you think Ty could forgive me three times? Three times? Ty, I'm sorry. You are forgiven by Jesus. Oh, how about by you? Do you forgive me? Yes. Holy moly. Three times. Ty, how many times do you think you could forgive me? Two million. That's impressive. I'm not that good a person. I, after the second time, I'd be like, I don't think he's really sorry. Because when he says I'm sorry, that means I messed up. I'm not going to do it again. So one of Jesus' followers, Ty, you did a great job. You can have a seat. Thanks, buddy. Um, one of Jesus' followers asked, how many times do I have to keep forgiving people? And do you know what Jesus said? Actually, that disciple said, do I need to forgive? I need somebody who's a good counter, somebody who's young, somebody who's a mathematician. Can anybody count how many white dots are up there? I heard it. Seven. There's seven dots. His disciple said, do I have to forgive seven times? If I stomped on Ty's foot seven times, do I have to do it seven times? And do you know what Jesus said? Okay, see if you can count those dots. See if you can count those dots. Do you know how many dots are up there? You got some great guesses. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, but you have to listen. There are 490 dots up there. Or at least that's what Google said. I'm not actually going to count them myself. 490 times. And Jesus said, not seven times, but seven times 70, which is 490 times. But he didn't really mean 490 times. He just meant the perfect amount, which is every time. So every time I stomp on Ty's foot, he's supposed to forgive me. It's not okay. There's consequences. I'm probably in trouble. He's probably going to learn not to stick his foot out close to me. He's going to learn maybe he's going to wear like steel toe boots around me or just not hang out with me at all, right? But he's not going to harbor it in his heart. He's not going to be angry, and I don't have to feel bad. So the reason that we do this is because Jesus loved us first. He loved us perfectly. This Bible verse says that uh, he asks Jesus, how many times do I have to forgive? And he said, not seven times, but seven times 70. Because Jesus forgives us every single day for everything I've said, for everything I've done, and for everything that I ever will do, Jesus is going to forgive me. And no matter what you do, you can't out sin Jesus' love. He will always forgive you. And because he forgives you and because he loves you, he came and he lived and died for us to take away all of our sins, to forgive us. And because he loves us, you're to love other people. Let's pray about that. And then I have some songs where you guys can get up and move. Can you guys go hands, heads, and eyes? You guys do open and shut them, open and shut them, give a little clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, lay them in your lap. All right, close your eyes, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for forgiving us seven times, 70, 490 times, and even beyond that. Thank you that you have a perfect love. Help us to love each other. Help us to be patient with each other. Help us to forgive. And God, when we can't do that perfectly, help us to lean on you and ask for forgiveness and to say, I'm sorry. And thank you that you will be there to forgive us. And all God's children said, amen. amen. I need you to stand up. I have a song for you. And some of you know this song.
I'm going to try to get the video up, too. I'm not sure why the video is not going. Let me try, and then we'll jump right in where we are. Now, let's see if we can work a little magic with all this noise. Let's see. All right, we're going to jump in right about where we were. Hopefully, the video works this time. found a friend who owed him less a hundred coins. Who would have guessed? He showed no mercy to that guy. Locked him up in jail that night. It wasn't fair. It wasn't right. How many times should we forgive? Seven, eight times seven. Just keep on forgiving. When you reach the end, take a breath and start again. And a simple calculation, mathematical equation. The answer to the question. song. Nope, not this one. That's a good one, though. I've seen that one before, too. Anybody know what this is a picture of? A train. Yes, it's a picture of a train. There is something going on that starts Sunday here and over. Did anybody hear what Adeline said? Adeline, what did you say? What's starting here? VBS, Vacation Bible School, starts this Sunday, and then it goes through a lot of next week, and they're going to do a lot of fun things. They're going to have you build fun things, learn about things, play a lot of games, sing a lot of songs. So if you're not signed up for that yet, talk to your mom and dad about coming to VBS. This is one of the songs they're going to sing, though. So I'm going to play it so you get a little bit of an idea of what they're going to be doing. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together.
Thank you for joining me today. Um, again, it's good to, good to be around so many lively... My name is Scott Harrison. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to end with a benediction, and that's just saying we're going to send God with you, and he goes with you anyway, but we bless by saying the Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you, the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace, amen. Um, how do you guys usually dismiss? You front row on back? This is the first time I've been to Child Care Chapel. Yes?